Uh, welcome, welcome to Raleigh. Uh, Thank you. Eleven years later, uh, can you talk about uh, your path here a little bit? How you decided to do this, and maybe you know what prevented it from happening the first time around? Um, yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, way back when when I was drafted, obviously, I think uh, we were we were trying to get something something done. But but looking at uh, Cam Ward being there for for a number of years and and being kind of solidified as number one and uh, and a pretty busy busy uh, busy net there I th we me and my agents talked about going back and and just seeing what uh yeah what the draft could do and, and maybe end up in a place where where the where the chance of playing and and having a good career would be a little bit more um uh plausible i guess or or uh yeah possible is the word but uh that was kind of our our little gamble and and kind of the way we saw it, it was never about not playing in Carolina or anything like that. The, it was more that the net was, uh, you know, like I said, pretty busy. So that was, uh, yeah, obviously a very different uh, career path uh, looking back. But uh, yeah, I thought it was uh, the, the, the right move at the time and um, obviously had a, had a good career so far. Sarah? Hi, welcome to Raleigh. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you're feeling about your game headed into this season and how you landed on the Canes in free agency? Yeah, I mean, uh, they, they were really uh, interested. Um, from what I hear, they had a good, uh, really good team, really good uh, culture. So um, but that part, I'm really excited that, uh, that they're interested in me and obviously want to yeah, prepare and then get back to to the level I know I can play at. I think uh, last year was a was a difficult year personally, and uh, dealing with some injuries, um, wasn't able to play play the way I wanted to, and um, definitely feel feel very motivated to get back to that level again. Joshua, hey Freddie, uh, how do you look back on your time in Toronto, and and was there any consideration to returning to Toronto? Um, uh, on returning, I think, uh, it just, uh, I think we were a little bit too far apart to really, to make some, to even get something going. I think, uh, the talks my agent and, and, and the Leafs management had was, uh, was just tough. They, they obviously have, uh, limited cap space and, and wanted to, uh, yeah, pursue something else. So not, no, no hard feelings there. And. Looking back, I would definitely look back with uh, with some great memories, um, especially some of the teammates I've had over the years have been incredible. Um, yeah, the, the five guys, I think, uh, was there the whole time with me, like Mitch Schoss and uh, Mo Sack and, and William was, yeah, it was a big time or a big part of my my time there and, and obviously made it uh, really fun being there. So um, besides that, I think, yeah, um, having a great – Great, great organization with good people have just uh, yeah, made it a really good, good experience uh, both on and off, off the ice. Andrew? Hi, Frederick. Welcome. Have you uh, Just wondering, have you spoken with any of your new teammates here in Carolina yet? And specifically, too, obviously the Hurricanes are bringing in two new goalies and you and Antti Ranta, who will be your kind of your partner in net there. Have you had a chance to speak with him at all? Uh, I haven't talked to him yet. Uh, I've talked to, to Jay Gardner a little bit, obviously, because uh, knowing him from uh, from Toronto as well as Josh Levo. So um, that's exciting to to have some people that I know uh, already, and and some texts here and there with some of the guys, and been able to speak to yeah to, to the management and, and and coaching staff. So I think uh, the last couple of days have been really busy. So just trying to catch up with all that and yeah, start getting to know uh, some of the new teammates. Kurt. Hi, Frederick. I was going to ask about Antti Ranta as well. Um, do you have a relationship with him? I mean, I know all you guys in the goalies union have some connections to one another. And, and whether you do or not, what kind of relationship do you look for uh, with both of you coming into a new situation? What, what kind of thing do you try to build there with uh, the other guy who shares the net? Yeah, I think it's uh, I don't know him personally yet, but uh, but look, looking forward to. And I think to touch on the, the relationship you got to have, I think. Uh, just a good, healthy competitiveness, but also obviously you're able to help each other to to get the best out of uh, both goalies is, is really important. I think, um, yeah, having a good friendship off the ice, uh, I think is, is really good. And 
like I said before, having that competitive edge and trying to trying to help your team uh, when it's your chance in the net, I think uh, is important. So I'm looking forward to build that and and as well as uh, the relationship with the rest of my teammates. Corey, Frederick, I'm I'm wondering what Jake had to say or or anyone else you spoke to about playing here, and also what was the what was really the deciding factor in in you deciding to to come to Raleigh? Um, thinking. The deciding factor was mostly the just the, the, the culture that I've heard is, is being built there. That's what, what Jake was really uh, his emphasis was on is the the culture from from the coaching staff and down. I think is is really good, and they've they've had good good years previously, and and are building to uh, keep trying to build towards something uh, that can yeah compete for a cup. I think that's uh, that's really important. Obviously, Jake had really good things to say about living in North, North Carolina and. And, I'm, and he was pretty sure that I would feel uh, feel really comfortable there. So those were the, some of the main uh, main things for that he has to say. All right. Thanks, Freddie. Thanks, everyone. All right. Thanks, guys.